Hi everyone, welcome back into my kitchen. I'm sorry if I sound uh, with a strange voice, but I'm quite sick. Unfortunately, I've had a very bad flu and I am still recovering. So I hope you can hear what I'm saying and understand. Uh, these last days I wasn't feeling like crafting, so I was making a few digital downloads for my Etsy shop and I think they turned out very beautiful. And I've decided today that I feel like I have a little bit of strength left. <laughs> I've decided that I may use some of my digitals um, to make a collage and cover some ugly pages of my uh, botanical um, botanical book uh, sketchbook um, this is my sketchbook and i am trying to find a page that i want to cover okay so I'm just flipping very quickly through this uh, book and well <clears throat> uh, maybe okay this is what I want to cover this this was going to be a fern but I never <laughs> succeeded in making a fern out of it so let's try to cover this awful mess. Uh, first off, I have here a page from an old book that I will use. I am making a base and uh, since this is very thick um, paper because this is watercolor paper um, I think I'm going to use um, a very uh, powerful glue because the glue stick um, I'm not sure it's going to work so I am using an acetate glue and I'm going to create my base I do have some little bits of paper from the previous collage that I've made. So I'm going to use this to create um, a neutral base. And I'm going to speed this process up because maybe it's going to be quite boring. I want to make a very um, neutral base, so I'm looking for papers <clears throat> that I may use. Floral is always beautiful and <clears throat> makes the images pop. Just using a basic technique of tearing papers and covering up. Unfortunately, this flu got me very bad. I'm not sure if this is COVID or not because the test turned out negative, but you know, it's just uh, 
house test. I I haven't tested um, in the uh, health care um, offices, so I'm not sure. However, it's not very important because it's just a flu, but I have lost the taste and I think it's COVID. <clears throat> I've been feeling sick since last um, Thursday with very, very high fever. Now I have a cold and the thing that is bothering me more is that I f I'm feeling very tired and <clears throat> And also, I can't feel any taste or smell anything. And this is quite bad because I'm hungry. <laughs> and, you know, it's not very f fun when you don't taste what you eat. However, I know that many people was far worse than I am now, so I'm not complaining. <clears throat> okay, now I'm turning the page and cutting what's left here. Okay, so basically, this is my collage and my attempt at covering up the ugly thing that is on the side, on this side of the page. Oh, let me see if I can find something else here. Uh, I think this kit is so beautiful. I really love uh, this vintage kit that I am creating. They are a lot of fun. I think I'm going to cut this and make it straight. <clears throat> And also, I uh, want to start a new journal these days. Uh, it's going to be a very uh, simple one, maybe just one signature, more than a notebook, more than a journal, maybe a notebook. And it's going to be very, um, it's going to be fun. I think you can <clears throat> follow along if you're interested and it's going to give me something to think about while I'm still recovering because it's not fun at all to be sick and isolated from your family. Spring is coming, um, the sun is shining, but it's still quite um, chilly. It's not really cold. So this page is going to be very, very thick. 
because it's the paper, the base is thick and this is even thicker. Okay, now I want to um, add this lace here to finish up the page. This is a cotton um, cotton um, trim that I found at the charity shop and it's very neat, delicate and elegant. It's a bit of, a bit crooked as you can see. It's quite difficult to settle down properly. I'm off from work for 10 days and my colleagues are calling me every 10 minutes because there, there were many things that I had started so they had to um, take up my job and it's not funny at all because I feel, <clears throat> I feel quite guilty for them because they they need to work double shifts to catch up with my uh, with my work. But you know, there's nothing you can do when you feel sick. Okay, I think it looks very very nice. What do you think, my friends? I hope you like it. Um, I feel that it needs something else, but I don't have the things here and I feel too tired <coughs> to go looking for something. <laughs> so maybe I'm going to add something here. Um, let me see. I don't want to add too much bulk because if I decide to, um, if I decide to uh, paint in some other pages, um, it's going to be difficult if I add a pearl or something else. So I just, I'm just toning down the white spaces just a little bit with some uh, distress oxide and I I think we're done very simple 10 minutes crafting just to keep up um, the intention of crafting that sometimes goes away when you don't feel okay. You just need to think of a very simple project, nothing to, um, not, nothing very, very uh, difficult. Just something very simple that is going to help you cover bits and pieces and I think it looks very nice 
and I'm very happy with this and I think I'll be back soon because I have other ideas and I'll be back. Ciao!